Hello guys, in this video we are going to download and install Windows X Lite Operating System, a custom lightweight version of Windows 11. It's basically Windows 11 at its core, but with all the bloat and unnecessary stuff stripped away. The whole idea is to give you a faster, smoother experience, especially if you're running it on an older or low-end laptop or computer that struggles with the full version of Windows 11. What's cool is that Windows X Lite even relaxes the usual hardware requirements, so no need for a TPM chip or the latest CPU. You also won't be forced to sign in with a Microsoft account during setup. In short, it aims to deliver the ultimate Windows 11 experience on almost any PC by focusing purely on performance and efficiency. Now, before we jump in, just a quick disclaimer. Installing a new operating system will completely wipe your drive so make sure you back up all your important files first. Now, let's go ahead and get started with how to download and install Windows X Lite. To download Windows X Lite, just open your browser and head over to the official site, windowsxlite.com. Once you're there, click on Download at the top menu. From the options, select the Windows 11 Builds Edition. Now, let's grab the latest release, which is Windows 11 25 H2 build. Click on it. Then choose Windows X Lite Optimum 11 25 H2 Pro. Now scroll down the page until you see the download link button and click on it. That will take you to the download page. Keep in mind, Windows X Lite comes in a 7Z compressed format, so you'll need 7-zip or a similar tool to extract it. For now, let's go ahead and start downloading the file. The ISO file is about 3.48 gigabytes, so depending on your internet speed, the download might take a little while. Now, let's download the 7-zip tool. We'll need it to extract the Windows X Lite files later. Head over to the official 7-zip website and download it. Once the both files downloaded, go to your downloads folder. Let's install the 7-zip tool first. After installation, right-click on the Windows X Lite file and extract everything using 7-zip tool. After extraction, you'll see the Windows X Lite ISO file, the Rufus tool, and a few other files. Next, open Rufus application and plug in a USB flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of space and select your USB from the list. Then, Choose the Windows X Lite ISO file you just extracted. Leave the settings as they are and click Start. Rufus will now create a bootable USB drive, which should only take a few minutes. Once it's done, simply restart your PC and boot from the USB to begin the installation. Once the Windows X Lite installer loads up, you'll get two options. The first is Defender Off, which disables Windows Defender completely. The second is Defender On, which keeps it enabled for extra protection. For my setup, I'm going with Defender On, since I'd rather keep that extra layer of security. After that, select the drive or partition where you want to install Windows. Click Next, and the installation will begin. Since this is a lightweight build and hardware checks are skipped, it installs much faster than regular Windows 11. Once the process is done, there are no extra setup steps like you normally see with Windows 11. You won't be asked to sign in with a Microsoft account, configure privacy settings, or go through user setup. Windows X Lite skips all of that and automatically creates an admin account for you. And that's it, Windows X Lite is fully installed. This custom build is created by the Windows X Lite team. It's still Windows 11. Now let's take a closer look at what makes Windows X Lite different. The desktop is clean and minimal, with absolutely no bloatware. The start menu is almost empty, and things like the Microsoft Store, Xbox, and other apps are completely removed. Even Microsoft Teams isn't included. What you get right out of the box is a simple clutter-free setup. Next, open Task Manager and head over to the Performance tab. You'll notice how lightweight this operating system really is. CPU usage stays super low 
and memory usage is only around 1.4 gigabytes. Process tab, you can see the process count is also impressive, just 13 background processes and total Windows processes staying under 45. On top of that, boot times are noticeably faster compared to regular Windows 11 operating system. On the desktop, you'll find a folder called Extras and Info. Inside, there's a collection of handy tools and shortcuts. For example, you can quickly change your username and computer name with a simple script. Some services are disabled by default, like printing. If you ever need to use a printer, just run the shortcut to enable the print spooler. The same goes for features like Microsoft Account Login or the Xbox app. They're turned off by default, but can easily be enabled with a shortcut. You can also install the Microsoft Store directly from here. Once that's enabled, you'll be able to download apps and games, just like on standard Windows 11. There are also one-click installers for popular browsers like Chrome and Firefox, and even Microsoft Edge, if you prefer it. Optimum 11 doesn't force a browser on you. It lets you choose what you want. Just keep in mind that some features, like the widgets panel or the newsfeed, won't work unless you install Edge and WebView. The Extras folder also includes some registry tweaks which you can run and it will do the work for you. And in Wallpaper folder, you can find a collection of preloaded wallpapers. You can simply right-click on any wallpaper, choose Set as Desktop Background and you'll instantly see your background change. As for Windows updates, they're fully supported but paused by default all the way until the year 3000. You can resume them anytime if you want, but for the best performance, it's usually better to leave updates disabled. That way, Windows won't reinstall unnecessary features or bloat in future updates. Next, let's open File Explorer and take a look at the C drive. A fresh Windows X Lite installation takes up only about 7 gigabytes of space. Compare that to the 12 to 13 gigabytes that regular Windows 11 usually needs. That's a big difference, and it shows just how much unnecessary stuff has been stripped out to keep things lightweight. Windows X Lite also enhances the right-click menu with some really handy shortcuts. For example, you'll see an option to open command prompt as administrator, which instantly opens command prompt in the selected folder. You also get quick access to tools like the control panel, restarting explorer, and even booting directly into safe mode. These context menu tweaks make everyday tasks much quicker and easier. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and if you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Enjoy your fast, clean, and lightweight Windows setup with Windows X Lite.